Um, next target will be a membrane. It's very easy target. Two classes. Disrupt the membrane structure. <coughs> and lipopeptides. They form pores in the membrane. Let's take a look at this. Uh, first question, the big question here. Membranes, and we, we, we talked about it, membranes in bacteria and members, uh, membranes in human cells. Are they somewhat similar? They are. So tell me please, these drugs, will they have low specific toxicity or high specific toxicity? low specific toxicity. Does that make sense? Now, especially polymixins. Polymixins are awful. So I'm going to give an example. Some really important clinical considerations. So, two polymixins that I mentioned in the lectures are polymixin B and colistin. Polymixin B is so toxic that it's used topically only. Am I clear? You can use it on the wounds, you can use it on the skin. Triple antibiotic cream that you can buy at any pharmacy contains polymixin B. We're good? Colistin is kind of a nuclear option in antibiotic treatments. What do I mean by that? If you have a patient with multi-drug resistant gram-negative infection, this patient is probably going to die unless you find something that will just nuke everything and that's going to be colistin. It will also nuke patient's kidneys. So side effects are massive. Does that make sense? This is why and this is I want to I want to be very very clear about it. Okay, I want to accentuate this. Can you use tetracyclines or Vanco in clinic? Yeah, you use it all the time, right? Doctors use it, doctors prescribe it, it's a common treatment. Penicillin, cephalosporin, it's common treatment. You go with like an easy option. Colistin, polymixins, is not an easy option. They used for very severe diseases, rarely sometimes systemically, but most use of polymixins is topical. Mm. Does that make sense? Topical use, not systemic. Am I clear? I hope I got this of course. Right. Moving on? Right. Um, I won't be able to squeeze all of it now. I will have to kill some. Oh yeah, and I wanted to mention a few things kind of in general. So first of all, Ask. Dr. K, what if you put a name of a drug on the exam accidentally? And I don't remember. Surprisingly, I don't remember the names that I put on the exam. But what if I mention methicillin I mean, or clindamycin, which is not in the list of classes? What are we going to do? You're going to come to me and say, can you clarify the class? You see what I'm saying? Like on the exam, you can come to me and say, in this, in these answers, this is not, this is not a class. Can you tell which class it belongs to? I will do that. Which one in the, that belong to the penicillins? Yeah, yeah, but I will tell you this. So say, you come to me and say, what about clindamycin? 
I'll tell you, well, clindamycin is one of the lincosamines. That makes sense? So I will clear, I promise I will clarify this for you. And most questions, unless they are like touch on specific ideas that we discussed, like resistance and stuff, will be which of the following drugs work through that mechanism? Or what is the mechanism of action for such and such drug? That's kind of basic idea. Okay. We good so far? Okay.